Hey guys, and welcome back to some more D&D commentary. So, I'm by myself today. Yeah, I've been really busy, and I haven't got a chance to, uh, record anything, really, because I've been busy with Dragon Ball Z League, etc., etc. So, uh, there's no one available to join me for uh, d and commentary, so I guess I'll just go ahead and do it by myself. So, we got, uh, Mr. 972 here with 900 versus, uh... Masky 33 with 800. I had to lower when I tried to put a thousand. Uh, I pretty much couldn't find anybody because you know with the whole uh, refresh and new ban list, not a lot of people made it up back up to a thousand. So I decided to drop it down to 900. So it looks like we got a Thunder Family here uh, versus I don't know yet <laughs> something that uses mathematician and that could be a couple of that. So uh, maybe uh, oh some some kind of Lone Fire Plant deck. Okay. So he goes ahead and used Mathematician to drop the Lone Fire. So the first turn, uh, Hunter guy, he uh, summoned Tsukiyomi, which I don't see that often. I really don't feel like that's kind of worth it. But he decides to go ahead and use Tsukiyomi to pitch to draw, pitch his one Thunder Seahorse to draw two. I mean, I guess. You know, pitching a Thunder Seahorse, unless you have recycling batteries, you know. That's kind of weird. Okay, and he's going to do it again. He's going to go ahead and discard his two to what, draw two? Because you have to discard a minimum of one. And it's in your entire hand, minimum of one if you do draw two cards. Like, okay. That's what you want to do. So yeah, I've just been really busy, and I apologize for not having any guests. Uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't even A, today, because you've seen that this is going up today. Uh, this is uh, probably a couple hours ahead. It's actually 8.30. This has to go up at 11, so you know, a couple hours away. And uh, hopefully we get a decent duel or a good duel if they're just taking a while. That's, that's what's wrong with recording on DN is that they just take freaking forever. Like, it just seems like you just go AFK and it's just like, really? Why why you go AFK? You know, it really sucks when I'm here by myself. I had someone with me. I could be commentating with them. We could even be talking about things that have nothing to do with what's going on until they get back to dueling. But I was just by myself. It's just me sitting here talking to myself like crazy and he quits. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for that. <sighs> Hopefully I'll find another duel. That this was going to be a decent duel, but no, so I guess bear it back. Alright, this duel seems like it's uh, still pretty early in the game. So, uh, we got Status for Life. Status for Life, really? At uh, 11.28 here versus uh, Saw Gopher 13 with only 500. But, yeah, at least this is a high number. So it looks like he's using some maybe hat trap tricks. Not sure what he got with pot. Yep, looks like a hat. Uh, versus some kind of lone fire plant. So it looks like uh, Sylvans. Okay. So yep, hat. I I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of hat to tell you the truth. I I feel like it's just a whole bunch of good cards splashed together that just happen to work. Like I get I get the hands. I get the trap tricks, but what do the artif what, what synergy do the do the artifacts have with the hands and the trap tricks? You know, it's like they're level five, and these are level four. So it's like, why you just summon them? Just some the only synergy they have is with themselves. So unless you're summoning two. Uh, two artifacts and go into something, it's really not worth it. Like I said, I kind of like my deck better. Okay, so he's going to use it on the Moral Talk, because, yeah, so he's using it on the Moral Talk. Um, getting 400 attack, but it's effective negated. Alright. So, uh, that's just how I feel. Like I said, I kind of like my version of the deck better, but maybe I'm just biased, but I kind of feel like my version, Hack, instead of Hat, has more synergy with the deck just because, you know, I have more synergy with the artifacts, you know? I'm not a big fan of the trap tricks. Let's say, when a monster comes, I suppose someone activates its effect, negates that effect, and if you do destroy that card. Alright, so. Use trap trick, trap hole nightmare on the other lone fire, because he just assumed that he's going to get his effect, so he just dropped it to the grave instead of, you know, actually summon it to the field, because he's just so... You know, conceded, and he's like, oh yeah, totally, guy. I'm, I'm gonna get my effect off. So, you know, it's just like, I call it the hands, of course, put additional pressure, and I like that idea, because it, you're, you're using so much back row on my hands, that you're not, when please gets dropped, you're just like, oh shit, I used up all my D-persons, and then please starts kicking that butt. 
of course, I like the artifacts because the artifacts have synergy and give consistency to the constellars. Also, you know, some of our morale attack from the deck with, you know, uh, Sanctum is good, and then I can summon a cost and make it five and make a Pleiades. Or I can summon multiple and make multiple Pleiades. And then, of course, the Constellar is because I really like Constellar. So I just think that maybe my version is better. And also, I think I have a better matchup against, you know, uh, Shadal's coming out. Because, you know, Shadal's. But, uh, you know, Hat can easily fake that. All I have to do is just side out the Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, and then put in um, Deep Dark Trap Hole. I think that's what it's called. The one where your opponent special summons a level 5 or higher, it's banished. So you just go, bloop, and it's banished. So uh, that that's a good way to handle a mid-rash. I don't know. But uh, Hat won uh, United States Nationals, of course. So, you know, lots of people are going to be hopping on and using that deck a lot. Because they're like, oh, it's the best deck, so i got to run it. So... Yeah, don't be surprised if you see a lot of people running uh, either on Dean or Depra. Just, I'm just wondering how uh, each person runs it. Because I know I dueled a person on Daily Duels Depra, and they ran so many artifacts. Like, they ran, like, Double Scythe and a Big Latach, and it's just like, you know, the the version of Hat that top doesn't even run that many artifacts. Really, you don't run that much artifacts at all. Just three Moral Tuck and three Sanctum, that's it. They even took out Ignition, put back MST, they took out Big Latach. So, I, I, I do the same thing, you know, I'm trying to, I decided to take out Bigla Talk. Bigla Talk was clogging me, he really wasn't doing anything. The Ignitions, uh, there was actually a duel where I drew all the artifacts, or summoned all the artifacts, and I couldn't even play Ignition, which is pretty much like an MST, except I couldn't play it, because you had to have an uh, artifact in the deck, which I didn't at the time, so that sucked. And, um... Uh, I just wish I had regular MST, and, I, and if you're going to take out Big Latash, then you might as well put the Ignitions changing back to MSTs, because why the hell would you want to set uh, Moral Talk? That's dumb. You want to you have all the Moral Talks in your deck, so you can summon them out with Sanctum. That's the best choice, and if you happen to draw them, then you can always MST uh, the the Moral Talks that you have face down. Um, they'll get summoned and pop your opponent's monster, so you use two cards to summon to pop, so you, you zero out. With your with your opponent, you even out with your opponent. If everything goes uh, swimmingly, of course. But yeah, that's just how I feel. So he's checking something, checking something for a long time now. I said this, this is this is the reason why this series is not going as swimmingly and as hot as possible. Because yeah, I'm, I'm looking at people hydrating dueling, but they either a take forever with their turn or go AFK or quit, and it's just like. Huh, how does Mega Capital G do it? When Mega Capital G does it, he just gets people who, you know, go the full duel, who doesn't take forever on their frickin' turn, and I just don't know how he does it. I just don't know how. Because when I do it, they take forever for the turn, get, go AFK or quit. And this is clearly what's doing, what he's doing right now. He's checking something. I don't know what the hell you're checking, but you're taking forever to check it, and I just wish you would hurry it up. You know? And I'm just trying to get a balance of, you know, how long the video is and, uh, you know, how entertaining it is. But so far, this is just, this is not entertaining at all. I want something to happen. No one said anything. And watch this chat. Duel is pretty much at a stalemate. Yeah, like, are you done? <laughs> like, come on. I'm thinking about just pausing the video until, uh, you know, uh, he gets started again. PCST? What's PCST? I don't know what PCST is. What it, what the hell is PCST? Uh, that's Sanctum. I was thinking maybe Trap Trick Trap on Nightmare, but, that, uh, but that's not PCST. What the fuck is PCST? You mean Lone Fire? You mean activating Lone Fire's effect on Nightmare? It activates on the field. Was it activate on the field but resolve in Grave? Is that how it goes? Or does it activate and resolve on the field? Either way, I know it activates on the field. So you summoned it, you're going to activate its effect. He changed. The Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare is faster than Lone Fire. I don't know. I guess I'll just pause it till they get the resolved. So they are back. Okay, they're actually back to dueling. So uh, apparently he just says that he can he'll allow it to happen. But 
from what I was looking up, it seems like Trap Trick Trap Whole Nightmare doesn't care where the monster resolves at. It just negates and destroys it. Uh, as long as it negates and destroys it, but whatever. That's what I was looking up on Google while waiting for them to freaking do this. I mean, this is this is link is probably that YouTube video that he uh, found. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, that was the... here. Um, it was about Stardust, and this one's about Lone Fire. Uh, somebody else in this thread brings up Angeli. Um, at which point you see Jackson's like, "Don't start this again," and then he links it. Three. Um, I simply said, you know, here we activate whole nightmare could legally respond he says as long as you control the monster at activation which fulfills the requirement of trap to trap whole nightmare when a monster your opponent controls that was special summoned this turn activates an effect um i'm gonna get to that wording again uh here in a moment but that your opponent that was special summoned this turn that your opponent controls activates an effect um Mitch says, wait till um, the World Championship qualifier. Um, <coughs> excuse me. He's not yes, saying by anything. The blog, you control the card at activation. Um, controlled, past tense. Um, you cannot now, nor have you ever been able to respond to a card that has not already paid its cost to activate. You're actively claiming that Trap Trap Hole Nightmare can splice its way in between the card effect and its cost. That's by far the most heinous thing I've ever heard. Now... My reasoning here is that okay. he's saying you control the card at activation. Okay, so... Oh, I mean, I guess all this didn't really matter anyway, but okay. So, yeah, you heard it. So, apparently you can't trap trip trap whole nightmare, because you can't jump in between the costs of the card. Yeah, that's a good card MST. That's another good card MST. Wow, he is just going ham. That is a lot of damage. Seven guys running out of resources. What are you exceeding into? XC into... It's a little bit too early to Cowboy, right? Wobble Chain. Okay. Uh, let me guess. You're gonna put, uh... The Trap Tricks DN. Yep. Yep. Dianara. Diarrhea. On top of your deck. Just like what, uh... The uh, first place guy did. Oh, so that's just a blatant copy. Going to do level chain again. Okay. He has Diamond Dio. Well, we can pretty much win this game. He wants another Dianara. Uh, there's nothing to pop, right? Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and exceed into what Diamond Dire. Will this be it? If he has Diamond Dire in there. A lot of people have been taking out Diamond Dire out of the X deck. This Dweller, okay. Is that just a flip effect? Nope. I guess it's over. Going on to round two.